Hey students and welcome to week 7 of the strange new school year. We have gone over the hump of the middle of the quarter, so by the end of this week you should be getting your progress report either through your student email or through pickup of the hard copy from the school campus. For my intermediate and advanced robotics students, you may have noticed two new grades posted in Google Classroom. Those are your Zoom class session attendance and digital citizenship quiz. Your completion of the assignments in Google Classroom also is taken into account for your mid-progress report and final first quarter grade. So for this week's assignment, we're going to step back a bit and do a lesson about maintaining your emotional well-being. I can sense that many of you are stressed and with progress reports coming up, everyone needs to understand what they're feeling and how to cope. You will be reading, watching, and typing answers in the Nearpod presentation that is assignment number 11. In the next part of the video, I will go through the sections of the Nearpod presentation that you need to answer. This is your Nearpod activity. There are 15 uh, slides, but you're not going to be typing in all 15 of them, but I do want you to read all 15 of them but I'm just going to go through the sections that you will fill out. First, you will get a poll. What do you do when you feel a strong emotion? And just select any of these that you feel um, when you have a strong emotion. Next on slide, Eight, it tells you you're going to watch a video. So slide nine, when you click forward, is this video. Okay, so that whole thing is four minutes and 42 seconds. Please watch the whole thing. Then after the video, is an open-ended question. What are some ways emotions affect your health? So after watching the video, you should be able to respond to this question with at least three sentences in this box. Don't just give me yes, okay? <laughs> or uh, give me three sentences, one, two, three, of um, some ways your emotions affect your health. Next is slide 11. When strong feelings come up, we, will, we all have ways we try to cope with them. Coping means to handle something successfully. Circle or highlight the positive and healthy coping strategies. Okay, so use the pen tool over here. Choose a color. And then there's a scroll up. To show the whole thing and there's scroll down to see what the question is again okay so what are some healthy like read a book could be one okay and then just scroll down through Click forward and you have your last question. It's an open-ended question. And again, you are faced with this box and this question. How can you help yourself or a friend cope with strong feelings? Think about coping strategies. Okay, so think of three uh, ways that you can help yourself and your friend cope with strong feelings for this part. And after that, you're done. Click forward. There's a thank you and credits and resources. And that's it for this Nearpod activity. I really hope you watch that video, you click through, read everything, and type in your answers with care and thought because this is an important activity because everybody's going through a lot right now and 
you need something to step back and and help you with coping mechanisms so that we can face those problems and move on and face the rest of this uh, pandemic, the rest of this school year, and the rest of our future. Then you have assignment number 12. You have two assignments this week. Assignment number 12 is your robotics class reflection. So as I said before, it, we're past the middle of the quarter, and now it's time to look back and see and uh, see what we can improve. Okay, so uh, read through the directions and then start your paragraph here. So you should at least type five sentences um, that pertain to the question about uh, what you did that you're proud of in the first half of the quarter and what you could have done to improve. And those are your assignments for this week. Good luck and see you on Thursday or Friday for your weekly Zoom sessions. I hope you've enjoyed my backgrounds. Very soothing things that I thought uh, would kind of calm you down, but not distract you too much from listening to me. But have a good day, everybody.